Your company name is? Yes, my services. Okay. So doing what kind of uh, what kind of things? Fire. 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 Fire stock. Oh, okay. All right. Just wait for like two to three minutes. I bring this online user. Okay, I think time to stop. It's a nine o'clock. Nine o two, already past two minutes. Okay, for online attendees, just take note. Right? It's uh, this SDI mini is a safe distance induction. Yeah. So this one, before circuit breaker, we don't have this kind of uh, injections. Before circuit breaker, we only have our SINC here. Yeah? Safe, uh, in uh, safe induction calls. Then we got the lockdown for two and a half months. Then after the lockdown, for main contractor to resume the work, we need to submit a bunch of documents. At the same time, we need to do some implementation uh, safe management measure. For example, uh, right in front of you, you are seeing right now on the floor. You got the, these uh, boxes, the yellow color boxes. You have a look. All these demarcation lines, you can see the cross lines, yeah. So all these are six management measures we have to implement. For main contractor to resume the start work, there is a criteria covering about COVID sick work site, COVID sick for accommodation, COVID sick workforce. All these they need to cover. In fact, from the VCA is a uh, forty six pages, yeah. So one of the things highlighted. In a one pages, so there is a one wording saying that all personnel, uh -huh. all personnel, regardless of whether you are a Singaporean PR or worker or manager or clients, so all need to go through this SDI. Yeah, so that is the reason why we are here today, this morning. Yeah, that is the main reason. It's not for fun. Yeah, so because it's the requirements, it's the compliances. That's why we, you guys are attending here. I, as an SMO, I'm contacting this SDI. Yeah, just I'm going, we're going to take about like 30 minutes or more or less 35 minutes. Yeah, so our, for these sessions, we have our two parts, part one and part two. Part one is more about like a day to day basis. You doesn't have to necessarily remember, memorize everything. You don't need to, but your memory is very good. Automatically goes your brain. That would be good for you. For session part two, we have a three, three R, three sessions. Session R, A, session B, and session C. Session A is about like our general, uh, the new terms related to the COVID nineteen, new term and a team. I'm going to be uh, sharing about. Session B is for you to take away. At least today you come here inside this meeting room, tapang. You just take away. I'm going to be sharing out the ten figures. 10 figures ranging from one to the 10,000 for everyone to easy memor uh, easy to remember. Yeah, 10 figures I'm going to sharing out. So for the part two, generally you need to memorize something. Whatever I brief, whatever I talk here, when I see remember, I just click a mental note because sooner or later after we finish the session B, we automatically come to the session C, which is a last session whereby I'm going to be assessing your absorbent how how much you have absorbed from these sessions. 
So that, that will be the last one is, is going to be assessment session. I'm going to be asking you each one at least uh, each questions, one question. I'm not going to be asking what from outside of this meeting room, whatever I talk, talk, talk here the past 15 minutes, the past 20, 25 minutes, I'm going to be asking you back. Yeah, so that I can assess whether you are fit to walk here. So that is our main purpose. Okay, part one and part two. Part one, not so much important. Day to day basic. As long as you know the things, it's fine. Part two, you need to memorize session A, B, C. But because last session, session C is assessment session, I'm going to be asking you about whether you are okay or not. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to be uh, start sharing themes. So while I'm breathing right here, you have any question you can ask me, yeah? You can ask me anything, you have a doubt, yeah? All right. Okay, actually this breathing is especially meant for uh, Sanwar. From the online attending Sanwar, uh, please take note. Uh. Yeah, everyone, uh, good mornings. Yeah, we, uh, we are now starting now, all right? Can you hear me and can you see this uh, slide? Yeah, Sanwar, right? All right, okay. Uh, everyone uh, have a look. I need to take this uh, screenshot uh, just for the registration purpose so that we substantiate that you have attended this SINC. Uh, the, the slide you are seeing right now is an example of what we are going to take. So I'm going to be stop sharing. The moment I stop, then I'm going to take the screenshot. Please, all you need to do is just, just look at the camera so that I can take the screenshot, the picture for the registration purpose so that you can, we can substantiate you have attended this uh, SDI course. Huh? Okay, so just look at the camera. Switch on your camera and uh, look at, look at, look at the camera. Switch on your face, show your face, show your face. Uh, you can, uh, uh, you can, host, you host, can, hold on first. Hold on. Some of my men can't get in. All right, because we supposed to start is the nine o'clock, nine, now already seven minutes parks. Yeah, because we, I am not only having online attendee, I'm having outside also. We cannot jeopardize for the any other yes. attendees. Yes, all, right. all our men just joined in uh, only at 9 o'clock. Just now we've been waiting since 8.45. Okay, now all my men is getting ready. Can You can carry on. Thank okay. you. Okay, all right. Thanks for your cooperation. So I'm going to take the second shot. On the count of 3, 2, 1, I'm going to click. All you need to do is just look at the camera. All right, three, two, one. All right, give me a moment to piece it out. Okay, so I get it back. I'm sharing back again. So just want to uh, check, are you guys seeing your screenshot, your own picture here? Can I check online attendees? You guys seeing this, uh, your picture? Your, are your picture inside the frame? I just found the guys, uh, the person, uh, can I check uh, which slide are you guys seeing from the online attendees? Can someone tell me which slide are you guys seeing? I just want to make sure you guys are seeing this uh, uh, slide that I intending to show. Uh, Mr. Mr. Shah Chi Ho, can you unmute and uh, can you uh, respond? Which slide are you seeing right now? Uh, safe distancing uh, in, in the All right, all right. So that means uh, you guys are uh, on the right place. Okay, all right. You can uh, mute yourself. All right, okay. So as we just uh, con uh, uh, continued. Okay, uh, welcome, Samo, especially from all these guys, Samo. So you guys are from the Antatomi, right? All right. So I think uh, I have this uh, picture for the uh, just for the registration purpose. All these guys are attendees. So uh, this is a screenshot that uh, you guys already uh, sent, uh, sent it out to me. So just to make sure for uh, foreigner, 
like like expert holder and a work permit holder just to make sure you all have uh, three compulsory applications right so for for those uh, uh haven't and mute your haven't haven't or switch off is there uh, please switch off your 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 microphone uh, uh microphone please switch off your microphone so that uh you are not disturbing to the any other person uh, yeah please switch off your 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 microphones all right so you, we just we just want to make sure that you all have uh, this uh, uh three compulsory application uh for singaporean and uh, pr uh so you still need to have a uh, trace together you still need to have a trace together for work permit holder and aspect holder. Not only these three applications, you all should have a uh, blue pass token, is uh, blue pass token, or or you should have it, or you have right. Okay, you have uh, those all these things good. So uh, these are these uh, phone screenshot just to ensure you all have a uh, trace together installed in your phone. Hi. Okay, I just mentioned here, just beginning of uh, this session, why we are here today. So you remember, right? Because it's in short, I can tell you it's a requirement by the authority. When I say authority, mean we are referring to the uh, BCA, Building Construction Authority. They want us to, they need us to conduct this kind of uh, SDI safe distance interchange, regardless of whether you're Singaporean or PR or manager or workers. So yeah, whoever need to come in, uh, please switch off microphone, uh, super many, super many, please switch off your microphone. Yeah, please. All right, so so that is our uh, reasons. Super, super many, please switch off your microphone. Super, super many, Kartik, please switch off your microphone. All right, so this is the reason why we are here today this morning. So you know the reasons, reason behind has a purpose. What's the ultimate purpose? The ultimate purpose why we are here today this morning is just to take care of you. Yeah, so just to take care of you just for your sake. Yeah, we, we are contacting this ultimate purpose is just to take care of you because you never come here before. You may know something related to the COVID-19 but doesn't suit here some particular points. So it's just, just to get you to know things you're supposed to do, things you're supposed not to do, right? So now we come to the rest. part one, session A. It's all about checking in. Before we only have one single people on the hack copy, the moment you enter to the uh, our premises at the guard house, what you need to do, you look out for these uh, attendees, then you look out for just sign in. You just sign in, what time you morning sign in? Maybe around about uh, 8.35, yeah, you just sign in, finish before cycle breaker. If we don't have COVID-19, so we will be doing the same. But because of this COVID-19, one of the measures we need to implement is that those kind of uh, checking in system. So we have from, from stack one to stack six, I'm going to be explaining about from one to six. So station A, whether you need to take out your wall parks nah, for your wall permit part, then you use your mobile phone. Your mobile phone has this uh, SG wall parts, use the application. Then you show this access code. This is MOM access code must be green. Is this, is this advice, is it advisable that before you leave your dormitory, you better check. Uh, if you come to the work site, then you check, then immediately become wrecked. That is, you are wasting your time. Yeah. All right. This is situation A. Situation B, you check in your body temperature. Yeah. So, all you need to do is you just stand there, maybe around about maybe 500 to one meter apart from this screen. So, you can see the moment you stand there, you can see on the screen you uh, that what temperature is going to be. You just click a maintenance because later on, you need to write in on the hack copy. So station C is a safe entry NRIC versions, yeah? So this is for authority. We are not collecting any data from you. The moment you click then all this, all this information of where you are automatically goes to the MOM and MOH. This is safe entry NRIC versions. For construction site, is this a compulsory for us to have a NRIC version? So for like uh, non-construction site, maybe like outside, maybe you can use a QR code. But for our site, for safe entry, we use a eh, safe entry NRIC versions. So this is for a uh, feature scanner, biometrics. So uh, this is for the EPSS, EPSS system for electronic productivity submission system. This one goes to the BCA. So uh, just now I forgot to mention, uh, you don't 
use your fingers to print. Please use your face to scan. The proper is the, to minimize the contacts, right? Last time we used our uh, fingers. So station E, uh, which is a conventional need to check in. in. Last time we only have uh, this kind of uh, conventional thing. You just write in. But now we have a step by step. This is uh, now considered as a station E. All you need to do is that you just look out for your company names. If you guys are already approved by BCA, you will easily find your company name is there. You look out for your company name, then after that, you look out for your name. You no need to write in. You no need to write in. You write in meaning then you are not approved person. You no need to write in. If you guys are already approved by the BCA, your company will be there at the station E, your name will be there. All you need to do is you just look out for your name, your company name, then after that, check in what time you come in, 8.35. Then you need to write in your body temperature. You just 36.5, whatever. The station B, you remember? Station B, you got the temperature that you just write in. This is checking in. So the last station, station F, this is, uh, this QR codes is not like uh, uh, any other QR code. This QR codes implemented by our main contractor because Safe M3 NRIC, we are not collecting any data. We are not able to. That's why we want to monitor your 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 whereabouts. So we implement this QR code system. So you need to scan for iPhone user. You just use your uh, uh, built-in camera. For Android user, you must use a QR code scanner application. The moment you scan it, the fast screen, you can see here there is a uh, yes or no. Yes or no? Are you approved person or not? Of course, you guys are already approved. That's why you guys are today here. So you guys are attending this SDI. So first screen, you must say yes. Then you click next. The second screen, you you're going to be uh, you going to be asked about whether there is a two categories. The first one is HSC second. The second one is a plant installation. For some more, for some more, you must use plant installation team. Some more the premix. Premix thing, whether I think so now later, I think we are scheduled to start laying premix on the 17th and 18th of February. So you guys click second one for the planting somewhere. Please take note somewhere you must click second one. For you guys, you must use the first one, HSC and subcontractor. Then you click next. Then number three is that you must provide your NIC and thing number. For Singaporean, you provide your NIC number, it's a full. You cannot omit. For what permit holder, you provide your foreign identification number, thing number. Then after that, you submit. The moment you click it, then you can see the last screen. This is the last screen. You have been successfully declared. So that's how you do check-in. It's all about check-in. Station A to station F. It's all about check-in. Yeah. So okay. All right. For checkout, it's a symbol. You don't need to do many steps. For checkout, you only need to do only three station. Station E, C, D. You do the same. Yeah. This is checkout. All right. So I just finished this uh, session A is about checking in, right? Session B is I'm going to be just uh, sharing out just to get you to know our site, just to familiarize our, our site. Okay, this, the, the slide you're seeing right now is our main entrance. But this morning, I believe you guys are coming from the secondary entrance. It's not there, it's a main entrance. But this main entrance right now is not in the operation. We just uh, close it. We are doing stay in progress of construction site, yeah? So you can see, I will, we would like to highlight on this COVID-19 notice board. So this COVID-19 notice board is the same like wherever you go, which uh, construction site you go, they all have a same thing like notice board for the COVID-19, particularly, especially for the COVID-19, you will see like, you know, that you shall poster from MOM, MOH, NEA, BCA. Other than that, other than that, you can look out three important information for you guys, for this particular project, three important information you can get from this COVID-19. The first thing you must know, which are identification, identification visual, visual identification color. You can see on my helm marks, you should have, a, you all should have a, this identification color. Yeah. So you must know this is the first point. It's the second point, which toilet, which toilet you supposed to use for particular Particular street, particular second contract, that's a, there's a particular numbers or toilets. So dedicated toilet will be provided. So you guys are from Tommy Way, then look out which 
Brian told me which toilet I'm supposed to use. Then the likewise for the resting area, we got the plenty of resting area, but you cannot use any resting area anyhow, whatever you want is, whatever, whatever you feel like is. So resting area also the same, that is a dedicated, it's going to be dedicated for you guys. I think someone already have a dedicated resting area. Some more thing, then go and rest at that you are dedicated resting area for you guys. You guys go to me way, then go and rest at that. me way, dedicated resting area. So these three information you can get from this uh, COVID-19 notice board. Other than that, you can look out for uh, is stagger, stagger, pick a point, yeah? What time you coming in the stagger timing for, for you guys to come in morning time, starting from six o'clock, all the contract are coming already. Six o'clock, then 6.15, 6.30, 7 o'clock, 7.30, until 9.30. All these guys are st stagger timings. So you guys cannot come anyhow. So you must know which timing you're supposed to come in. So you can look out this information from the COVID-19 notice boards. All right. So this toilet is just to let you know that this toilet you supposed to use. You supposed not to use this toilet for the visitor, especially for those directly coming from the Malaysia's Malaysia drivers. Yeah. So because now Malaysia got the many many cases every day. Got the thousands, thousands. I think yesterday got the four thousands. I don't know. I can't remember. The four digits number every day. So we have a special arrangement for those directly coming from the Malaysia. So you supposed not to use those kind of these toilets, right? You can use all these a series of toilets, but you must make sure. You must make sure before you use the toilet. You can see on this door. There's a number, there is a dedicated tin. She's already pissed it out. So you can look out, are you, are you in the right toilet or not before you use it? Just make sure you use the correct toilets. Okay, this slide is purely for RE, so I'm going to skip. It's not relevant to you. For operator, for, for just in case for somewhere, if you happen to have an operator or whatever operator, uh, please remain in your cabin in your cabin unless necessary to go out, right? For deliveries, also the same. For walker here, we want to emphasize there are only four points. For walkers who stay in the dormitory, just we want to emphasize the four points. So first thing, for whatever reason you change your mobile phone number, you should let like your, you should inform your immediate supervisor. Immediate supervisor meaning it could be anyone, huh? Just, just right above one level, immediate supervisor. Because some company doesn't have a, you know, foreman or supervisor, they only have an engineer or manager. Sometimes, you know, doesn't even have an engineer, just the, the boss is there already, yeah? Boss and worker only. So you must inform your immediate supervisor, whatever reason you change your mobile phone. Because, because the worker can get this uh, direct message from the MOH, because the MOH suspect that you have a close contact with this uh, COVID-19 C plus case. So they will send you the SMS saying that you guys are going to be uh, moving out to the government facilities. Sometimes it could be like, you know, hotels. They will message you directly. So you must inform your immediate supervisor. The moment you change, for whatever reason, accommodation, you must inform. Okay, now that point is that you must activate trace together all the times. All right, you must activate trace together all the time while you are on site. Yeah, all right, you have it. We know that we, because we just, we already make sure before you come in here, you already have a trace together installed in your phone, but you must activate. If you don't activate it, it's no use one. All right. So the number four point is that after you finish the walk here, you go back to your dormitory. You, you are supposed to stay in your dormitory. You cannot go out huh? until the moment restriction is lifted. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, uh, just to uh, just 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 to let you know. This is our plans, uh, walk zones. In fact, we have uh, three major zones. You can see here uh, at this point of time we are right here. This is our meeting room. This is a block one. Block one we take it as a zone one. This is a block two. Uh, this is a grand way. This morning you guys coming from uh, this entrance here. So this is the whole thing. Red color is a zone two. Block two. Then you can see it's like uh, orange color is a zone three. So we have uh, three major zones. Then after that, we got the set zone, 69 zones. So you will be walking particular zone for the particular days. You will not be walking here and there. One day 
maybe two, three zones, no such thing. So what you must do, you must you must be informed by your coordinator or your supervisor, which zone you're going to be walking tomorrow. So this supervisor coordinator, he has to inform one day in advance through the WhatsApp groups. There is a, we got the WhatsApp group, zoning plan WhatsApp groups. This is the guy inside, he's one of the member. He's going to be uh, informing main contractor. I'm going to be walking, for example, I pick at number one, zone one four C, told me way. All right, you're going to be walking tomorrow, like uh, day three, you're going to be walking as a one four C. You're supposed to be there. No one else will be there. You only there. So this is our segregations, all right? So you must you must strictly uh, follow this thing. All right, so this is uh, our site. It's a web shot here, block two, zone two. So this is our zone one, it's uh, no, level two. You can see here, uh, barricade is not only for safety reason, it's for SMM measure. This zoning barricade at least is two meter apart. This is one of the compliance. I'm taking the picture from this angle. So this side all the way is a, a purple color. So one particular trait, one particular trait, maybe like elect electrician will be walking. Maybe this particular trait landscape, they will be walking. So they will not be they definitely will not be in the mingling. So because we have a two meter apart the barricades. So likewise, this is level three, level four, level five. Okay, I have finished the session B. Come to the session C. Session C, I'm going to be sharing out three slides only. Session C, do I'm going to be sharing out the list, do lips and dome lips, then how we control. How to how to make sure these are compliant? So do this only four times. You can see here it's a repeated activate trace together all the time. It's a repeated. I repeat. I think at least a three times already. Maintain safe distance all the times. Number three, make sure your wall pass must be green. Number four, remind workers or SMM during two box meeting. Yeah, how you how you how you are brief your worker from the from talk to uh, from head to toe, you can check helmet, visual identification color has. You can check max wear properly. You can check blue pass token. You can check phone trace together have and activate. So you must brief before you start work during two box meeting. So now we have our dome lips five points. Uh, some of the points already are uh, mentioned. So toilets, we give you the dedicated toilet. You're supposed to use dedicated toilet. Please do not use any other toilet other than a dedicated one. Do not share food, drink with others. Do not intermix with any other trades. You electrician, stay in electrician. You network, stay in the network teams. You landscape doing, stay in the landscape teams. So do not temper, we move the dedicated two meter apart zone. This is the one that I just mentioned. There's a barricade, it's a two meter apart. You cannot remove, you cannot temper this barricade. Okay, then how we control? We so we just talk about do this and don't this. So most of the guys is a, a cooperative, but maybe like 5%, like 5% out of 100 is not paying attention. Right ear in, left ear off. So how we control? We control by HSC, code of contact, COC. So I'm not going to read through number one to number 10 point. If you want it, you can get this page from your coordinator. They all have it. So I'm, uh, for example, I'm going to pick at number one. Failure to put on a max one on site. So first time is going to be one in letter. Yeah, first time is one in letter. And second time is going to be admin chart $50. Tuck tie expair from side, yeah. So I'm going to pick at number six. Just remember, I just mentioned. Uh, so uh, failure to remain in the walking zone allocated. So you will be walking particular zone at the particular days. So you must stick to your particular zones for the particular days. For some reason, you are found to be walking non dedicated zone. So you supposed not to walk this zone. Then first time is going to be one in letter, and the second time is going to be hundred dollars. That time is spare from side. Yeah. Okay, so I had just finished the part one. Huh? So any any of you guys any anything is it okay? 
Yeah, so you just check with this uh, domain which, which particular zone you will be working. So you must see the plan. Just now I show you the plan. From the plan, you can pick it which zone. Then you can talk to a Domi way. I'm going to be working this particular zone for the particular days. Yeah. All right. So now we come to this uh, uh, part two. Part two. Okay. Session A. So what is SMN? I believe by now we should all be familiar with this word, SMN. What is SMN? Six management measure, of course, a six management measure. Uh. If uh, we don't have SMM, uh, I, I will not be here. You also will not be here because we cannot resume after the lockdown. We have to implement, we have to submit a lot of bench document. We have to implement all these things you can see. In fact, this meeting room only accommodate only 8%. Before that, we can accommodate as many as 10, 15, as many as we can accommodate, we can do it. But after the lockdown, we implement, you can see on the door, we have a sign it saying this meeting room only Eight person can uh, accommodate. Yeah, this is a six management measure. So now I'm going to be uh, sharing about uh, how we have a team, COVID-19 thing. So very basic level, we have a worker, very basic level. On top of worker who's uh, monitoring, monitor why CSWN. Okay, remember right, CSWN? Any idea what is CSWN? Any idea? CSWN is a COVID-6 worker leader. We have a... Uh, uh, we have we have a, a number, uh, so-called benchmark. So every ten, every ten or less than ten, you should appoint one CSWN, one leader, COVID sick worker leader. So he will be monitoring his co-worker. He he could be worker. He could be supervisor as well. So he, he does he need to attend any training? No. It it doesn't necessary. It, it's not necessary as long as he have some knowledge of our SMM of our COVID-19, he has some influence on the, his co-worker. He can be appointed as a CSWN. Best must come with the LOA. You must submit this LOA for this particular person. I have appointed this CSWN as a, uh, this guy is a CSWN. So on top of CSWN, what we have for SDO? What is SDO? Safe distance officer. So on top of SDO, what we have? Six management officer. So the day you have it, this is a COVID-19 team. So for, you see, any emergency case, so we're going to be taking care by, the, just now I mentioned about the team, from worker, monitor by CSWN, on top of CSWN, CSWN can inform SDO, then SDO can inform SMO. Emergency case, evacuation case, just in case there is a COVID-19 C plus case. So we're going to, we, we have a protocol and a flow charts. So not to worry, so everything is yeah, under control. Everything, everything is going to be as per plan. We have, we got the six bay, we got these uh, isolation rooms, right? So now we come to the session V, which is uh, the most important part. I'm going to be sharing out 10 figures. I'm going to be sharing out 10 figures from one to the 10,000, as I mentioned earlier. Within the one minute, I'm going to be through anyhow. I'm going to be through any of you no need to memorize anything. When I throw finish, I will explain here one by one. Then only you click a mental note because I'm going to be asking you back. All right, so start. Okay, first thing, one meter. Second thing, two meters. Then we have a three applications. Yeah, five M's. We have a five M's. You no need to figure out what five M's are. Later, I will explain here, five M's. Then we got the eight steps. Yeah, it says the number is orderly arranged. Huh? That is a, uh, the gradually higher by higher. So I have finished eight step, then a 10 person. This is just for takeaway the top on. Okay, 10 person, I have for 28 days. That is 7.5, percent The lastly is a 10 thousands. Okay, I just throw anyhow. All right, so I will explain here one by one. One meter, what is the meaning of one meter? Simple, one, one. Yeah, safe distancing, one meter, all the time. Especially same thing, one meter. You guys coming from the same company. Yeah, same. you guys coming from the same company, same thing. Let's say team A, one meter. But what happened, different teams. Even if you guys are coming from the same company, doing the same activities, but different teams. So two meters. Same thing, one meter, different to two meter. Just simple like that. All right, remember that? Uh, same thing. You can, you, you can have uh, one meter safe distancing is fine. 
but different teams, even if you guys come in from the same company doing the same activity, but different things, at least must offset two meters. All right. So three application, is this a three application? Yeah. All right. This is the three application. You all have it uh, for Singaporean PR. You should all should have our trees together. So five M's. So this poster launched by MOH, I purposely put it here because I want to do some assessment here. Is there anyone can uh, figure out, can point out which point is uh, updated? One of the points is updated. I purposely put it here because I want to do some uh, assessment. You want to try? Bro, you want to try which one is the updated one? Point number one? Point number one or point number two? Point number three? Point number four or point number five? Okay, because I don't have a time, I'm going to uh, answer. Actually, point number four is updated one. Because this poster launch very beginning for COVID-19 is around about April. So where the government say you wear the mask when you go out, you, if only if you are feeling sick, you are okay, you no need to wear. There's a news sir, that inside the newspaper also they mentioned, not only the poster, the newspaper also, you wear the mask only when you're feeling sick. But at this point of time, you wear the mask all the times. Yeah, wear the mask all the time. In fact, I'm supposed to wear the mask here. But if I wear the mask now, I cannot talk to you. You cannot listen properly. So allow me, all right? So eight steps. So the message here is eight step. You see, just washing your hand. This is, you know, this one, this, this eight step, that sometimes there's a uh, M1, M1, also they ask for it. The officer, uh, how, how many steps you have it? Eight step actually. So they are making such a big deal. How important is it? How important is it? It's just making a big deal. The, the, you just wash your hand and there is an eight step. We, do, we don't know. I didn't know actually. Eight steps is there. So just, just make sure you wash your hand properly, right? Eight step. <laughs> there is there. So you mean that, 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 is, that is a very busy hygiene. So, okay, now we come to our 10%. Whatever you do, do box meeting, in house training, that maximum you can have it 10 percent at any point of time. 28 days is a record. It's, it's not necessarily for the body temperature, it's uh, everything. For some reason, you happen to be appointed as a CSWN, happen to be uh, SDO, happen to be SMO. You have to do, you got to do all these uh, documents. So right now you can see here, this is uh, like a paper. Yeah? Uh, you see here, this is paper, just a simple paper. But the moment you sign in here, attend that is become documents. So you must keep for yourself at least 28 days. After 28 days, you want to throw, you can throw. It doesn't matter. So 37.5 is the body temperature. This one also from the MOA, sure, is a matches number. More than 37.5 considered not normal, yeah? So you must inform your immediate supervisor, you are not allowed to enter. 37.5, remember? 100% is uh, we are referring to our battery charging level. We are just exaggerating. It's not realistic, uh, it's not reasonable. We are just exaggerating. But as long as you come here to our site, more than 50% is fine because we, you have a trace together. You must activate. When you activate, you must activate the Bluetooth, the battery run faster. That's why we encourage you, we suggest you to have a battery charging level, uh, uh, mini, uh, minimum at least more than 50%. All right, the last one is the act. It's the cover all over the Singapore. It's not only here in uh, Hua Xia company, it's not in house rule, it's an act. First time it's going to be 10,000, five up to 10,000 or in, even imprisonment, jail system or both. So some people don't mind so 10,000, I don't care. So repeated, it's going to be double out, so 20,000 or 12 months or both. All right, so now I come to our session C's, assessment sessions. For online user, I don't have a time to do some uh, assessments. So I think uh, you all can uh, uh, exit out online user. So I had just uh, finished the, this, uh, this uh, briefing. If you all have questions, you can ask. If not, then you all can out already. Because uh, there's a session is limited. I only have, uh, uh, so now left is there, one minute. So thank you for your time. I hope you have, uh, you have, you have learned something from here. Just for the example, like a, a ten figure take takeaway. So so now later you're going to be working on our uh, 